Hi, everybody. It is Monday, start of a new week, January 9th. Um, it's raining out. Uh, we got a storm that's, that's hit. It's been raining since last night. It's supposed to rain uh, heavy tomorrow. And then um, I'm hoping it'll calm down by Wednesday because that's when we fly out to uh, head to New York with the immediate family for our shows in New Jersey, Connecticut, and at the Iridium in New York City. Um, but I'm loving seeing the rain. That's just so great. Uh, I know some people in areas have been hit with some serious devastation, and for that I'm very sad. But uh, overall, we've been so desperate for rain that this is just so great. And then there's supposed to be another storm coming next week. Um, so it's great when it's spaced out because it gives it all a chance to soak in and settle a bit before, and doesn't just all turn into runoff. But uh, Oh, that's, that's that. It's been a busy morning. I did a couple of cameos, had some books and t-shirts and some artwork to send off this morning. Um, and I'm going to do a little music and then I'm back in Lyle land. I spend a little time each day working on songs for Lyle's tour. Uh, today I'm going to go back and visit uh, an artist I did in 1977. It's an album called Part-Time Love and the artist is Carrie Chater. And... Uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff about Carrie uh, on the uh, on the internet, on Wikipedia and stuff. But uh, he's Canadian. Uh, he was born in Vancouver. Uh, but it talks a lot about different uh, incarnations of groups he was with and all that. And eventually, at one point, ended up with Gary Puckett in, in the Union Gap, which I love. Gary had such a great voice. Um, and... Uh, it's uh, he has a really fascinating career, which if you're interested at all, you know, check it out. You know, that to me is one of the things I love is just the journey that so many artists have traveled to get to where they were and what they accomplished. Uh, sad thing with Kerry is he died uh, February of last year. Uh, he was 76 years old and uh, and passed away back then. I think he was in Nashville when he when he passed away. Um, but uh, so it's uh, pretty cool. About a month from now, it'll have been a year since he passed away, which really sucks. Um, and uh, but I'm going to just play a couple of songs from from this album uh, that we did. The um, I'll give you a list of the people involved because it's a pretty impressive bunch of people for a first album. Um, David Hungate and I shared bass responsibilities on this. Uh, Jeff Picaro's on drums. Uh, Dean Parks on guitar, Carrie Chater also on guitar and background vocals. The horn section is Chuck, Henley, uh, Chuck uh, Finley, Jim Horn, Nino Tempo, Steve Douglas, and Steve Medeo. That is one hell of a section. Uh, percussion was uh, Dan Walsh, Michael Price, uh, Stephanie Spring, and Victor Feldman. Um, Steve Barry produced it, but he also played some percussion on this. Um, background vocals on this were Carol Carmichael Parks, Jackie Ward, Jim Haas, and Sally Stevens. Sid Sharp, the great Sid Sharp, was the concert master for the string sections. Um, what is, uh, let's see, there was a couple of other. Uh, the uh, other producer on this, because it was Steve Berry and Michael O'Mardian, and Michael O'Mardian produced a range by conducted, played keyboards, percussion, and background vocals. <laughs> it's like... He's, he's amazing. You know, I always loved working with Michael. We did so many really great projects together. Um, let me take a look here. Engineered by Howard Gale, Phil Kay, and Tommy Vacari. Um, Jeff Sykes uh, assisted on this. Um, it was also recorded by, engineered and recorded by Linda Taylor. Um, mastered by Kent Duncan. And uh, that looks like about it right here, but I grabbed a couple of songs that I did with him, and I'm just going to play those. So this is uh, Carrie Chater, Part-Time Love, 1977, back in the Wayback Machine here. This is called Misty Mary. Get back to that downbeat here. as far as Denver, but then I had 
to see her Cause all I could remember Are early morning teardrops in her eyes And the misty look she starts to show Before she cries With my mind on misty Mary In the morning when she cries There's an element of that reminds me a lot of Paul Williams in there, especially of some vocal phrases that he does. I could hear Paul singing those too. Um, here's a song. Uh, I'll just do this one and I'm going to let you run off on your day and I'll run off on mine here. Uh, this is called Even a Fool Would Let It Go. Would Let Go. So <laughs> even a fool would let go. Even a fool can read this properly, <laughs> but man, uh, even a fool would let go. Okay, here we go, Carrie Chater. But that downbeat, so important. It's funny how love goes. Cause I know this will never work out But honey, my love grows Even though there's no reason to doubt This can never be You keep saying it's wrong Neither one of us is free Still I wanna hold on and even a fool would let go 
Cause he knows that there's no use trying Even a child would say no When he knows that he'll end up crying Tell me now, is he wise holding you When even a fool would let go no reason Like the words in a song that don't rhyme Our love's got no season I just know that it's there all the time Give it just to you It's interesting listening to the way things get downloaded uh, to um, YouTube and stuff. And we can hear that somebody took this off of a record back in the day because as you can hear all the all the little sounds that a record would make on there, which you know it doesn't bother me at all. I spent my most of my life listening to records, so it's not a big deal. Um, so that's Carrie Chater uh, from 1977, and. Uh, I'm going to jump into Lyle land now. I got my bass sitting right here, and I'm going to start going over this, my copious list of songs, potentially for the tour, and some stuff I've never heard of other artists um, that may be joining us for a, an occasional gig, um, which should be fun. You know, Terry Allen and Bill Hearn. Um, there's a, a group of different people, Eric Taylor. So I'm going over their material and I might sketch myself some notes. I'm not sure if I'm going to get all this stuff committed to memory at this point, but I'm going to try. And I try to do that every time so that I'm not looking at paper on stage. I look like I'm actually in the band. So, so we'll see. Uh, work to do. So take good care. Have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow. And then Wednesday we head off and... Um, and do our gigs back east, which I'm really looking forward to. I think all the shows, from what I understand, are sold out, which will be great, be wonderful. So take good care, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye.